Hi everyone, this is Cal Clark today with my wife Celeste and we're going to go over the uh, Indochina postage stamps. Uh, Indochina was a French colony uh, from the 1860s up until 1945 or so. Um, this uh, colony was known for the three countries as of today, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. These stamps were printed, the very first ones were printed in 1889. As you can see, um, these stamps right here, uh, the, the five cent with the overprint on there are um, the very first ones that were used in the colony. Uh, the, this one here is, is, is a unique one because it doesn't have a date up here. So that makes it a little bit rarer. It's a, about a $240 stamp mint. Uh, this is another one here, this, this series here. The red overprint stamps, um, these were later on these came out in the same year, 1889. However, there is a little bit difference here in the in the size of the printing. One smaller than the other. That's the difference there. Um, these stamps here go for about uh, the the smaller type print is like $200 mint, and the regular one goes for about $95. So the those are the very first stamps that were used in the Indochina uh, colony, French colony. Uh, the next uh, series that came out, the Navigation and Commerce series, these right here were the next series that came out, and they were printed between 1892 and 1900. Uh, the French uh, used the same currency in their colonies as they did in France at the time, so the one is for a one centime, and the F here is the one franc. So we had centimes and francs. So here, as you can see here, this is the one centime, which is like a black color. Uh, the two centime, which is a brown buff. The four centime, which is a uh, claret color. This is a five centime, which is more of a greenish, uh, more of a greenish bluish color. And the difference between this one and this one, this is more yellow greenish. Uh, th th you can see the difference in the colors. And you had the 10 centime, which is black lavender. The 10 centime here is different. This one's red. This 15 centime here is, was printed on different kind of paper. It was printed on quadrille paper. I can show you the back of it. You can see the difference in the color or the, the, uh, the stamp. Okay. Uh, you can see that the paper is a little bit different than the other other ones. And you have the 15 centime, the brown one here as well, or it's gray actually. The 20 centime is more of a greenish red color, and the 25 is more of a, a pinkish red or a rose color, blackish rose. The 25 centime one here is blue, the 30 is uh, brown. This is actually a, a revenue stamp that was overprinted. It's kind of unique. The 40 centime is more of a, a red straw color. The 50 centime is carmine color. The 50 centime here is a is a brown color. The 75 centime is a like a deep violet orange color. The one franc is a, a greenish bronzes color, and the five uh, Frank, which is the highest denomination in this series, is a red lilac color. This whole series has um, a total of 19 stamps in it. Uh, and this series in mint condition goes for, in the Scott catalog uh, in 2009, uh, was for $431.40 mint and $228.55 used. Um, so that is the land and navigation series. This is the first series of stamps that were used in the Indochina colony in the, 18, early, in the late 1800s. In 1903, the uh, French Indochina stamps, they had an overprint for a new surcharge on the uh, 15 cent gray stamp. They put a five centime overprint on there and they had a uh, 15 cent uh, uh, overprint on the 25 cent blue. As you can see here, I have a block of six and a, a row of four of the blue. Uh, this is Scott catalog number 22 and Scott catalog number 23. The 23, the 22 goes for $1.60 a piece 
and the 23 goes for $1.75 a piece. So for being over 120, almost 120 years old, it's, it's, it's quite affordable for most people if they want to start having a few nice stamps of age in their collection. In 1904 and 1906, uh, the Indochina stamps they took on a new design. They actually call it a Grasset uh, series. Um, as you can see, there's a one cent team. This is a millisem stamp. As you can see, it's got a number in between there. Uh, these were issued out in a booklet type pane. Uh, that's a green colored, well, olive green colored. The two cent is a violent brown. The four cent is claret. Uh, the five cent is a deep green. The 10 cent is carmine. Uh, the 15 cent centime is a orange brown. And as you can see, there is also a, a uh, imperf there, an imperf pair. Um, these were these are hard to find. These imperfs, um, they're quite valuable uh, for the collector to have in their in their collection. Um, again, these uh, this is the the very first part of this series. Okay, continuing on with the uh, Grasset series, the twenty centime. This one has a is a millisem uh, piece. Uh, it is a reddish green color. <clears throat> Excuse me, the 25 cent one is a deep blue. The 30 cent team is a pale brown. That's also a millisem. The 35 cent is a blackish yellowish color. The 40 cent is a blackish bluish color. The 50 cent team is a blister, blister brown. 75 is a reddish orangish color. The one franc is a, is a uh, pale green. The, 20, the two franc is a brownish color. The five franc is a deep uh, violet. And the 10 franc is a orange brown. Also the five franc, as you see, has got the imperf example uh, for the five franc and the 10 franc. Uh, they're very expensive stamps to have as well in your collection. The Scott numbers for this, there's 17 total stamps in this collection. They run from Scott number 24 through number 40. And the, this is the most expensive set in all the Indochina stamps. Uh, it goes for $575.05 in mint condition and $412.10 in used condition. Hello everyone, uh, this is Cal Clark again, my wife Celeste. And today we're gonna talk about the next series in the Indochina postage stamps. Uh, this set uh, has um, 18 stamps in a total. Uh, it has uh, various pictures of, of uh, uh, local people from Indochina in here, from the different uh, countries at the time. Um, the first uh, is an Anamite girl, and uh, it's a one cent team, olive brown and black. The next one is a two cent yellow brown, two cent team. The four cent team is blue and black. That one happens to be a millisium stamp. Uh, the five cent team is green and black. The 10 cent team is red and black. The 15 cent team, which is the last one, the Anamite girl, is a violet and black. Then we have a Cambodian girl that starts on the 20 cent team, and that one is uh, violet and black. The 25 cent team is blue and black. The 30 cent team is brown and black. The 35 cent team is olive green and black. The 40 cent team is yellow brown and black. The 40 cent team is orange and black. And the 50 cent team is carmine colored and black. Then we get to the larger size stamps. As you can see, the 50, 75 cent team is um, it's uh, vermilion and black. It has a picture of a Cambodian woman on it. The one franc is Carmen in black. It has a picture of an Anamite woman on it. Uh, the two franc is, is green and black. That has a picture of a Hmong woman. The five franc is a Laotian woman. That's blue and black. And then the 10 franc, which is a larger denomination, largest denomination of set, has a Cambodian woman on it and that's purple and black. Uh, this set uh, is uh, Scott catalog numbers 41 through 58 in the set. There is a again a total of 18 stamps. The price for this set in mint condition is $267.75 and in use it's $202.30. Of course the higher valued stamps are worth the most, the 5 franc and the 10 franc. 
Uh, but it is a nice collection to have. It came out in 1907, uh, still over 100 and plus years old. And um, uh, I would highly suggest that you uh, collect this set uh, for your collection. Thank you. The next series of Indochina stamps were surcharge stamps used on the uh, former Grassette series. As you can see here, uh, there is six stamps in this set. Uh, there, the, the surcharges are either in black or in carmen. As you can see, the first one, the four cent team, has a five cent team surcharge on it. Uh, it is there is a difference between the two that you see on there. The difference is the distance between the zero and the five. Um, you have to really measure closely with the with the scale uh, millimeters um, to see the difference. But that is the difference, and it does the, the larger the difference in the size does make the difference in cost. The next one, as you see on there, is a I have two millisem uh, surcharge five cents on the fifteen cent orange brown uh, set, and then there's a, a five cent on thirty cent uh, pale brown. The next one, and then the forty cent team has a ten cent over surcharge in carmen, and then the fifty cent has a ten cent surcharge. Uh, the difference again in the 50 there and the, uh, the, the, the next one is the distance between the one and the zero. And then the last one in that set is a, uh, a surcharge of 10 cent teams on a 75 cent red orange colored. Uh, this set uh, normally is set numbers uh, 59 to 64 in the Scott catalog. Uh, mint, it goes for $16.70 as well as in the same price for use in $16.70. Um, so that's the surcharge stamps that were used in 1912 on the Grisset series. The next series is a surcharge series of the uh, different women from the colony in Indochina. As you can see, the surcharges were either in black, red, or blue. Um, the one cent team uh, surcharge was two fifths, and uh, that's number 65. The two cent team has a four fifths cent team surcharge on it. The four cent team has a one and three fifths cent team surcharge. That's in red, the surcharge color. The two cent or two, the five cent team has a two cent, two cent team surcharge on it. Um, the four cent, cent, the four cent team surcharge is on a ten cent, and that's in blue or black. Excuse me. There's also, as you note there, there's a there's a close and a open on the four on the surcharge. The closed four is actually worth a little bit more than the open four. I do like to collect the various the variations in the stamps uh, that I can if I can find them. Okay, in this case here, the closed four goes for eight dollars and twenty five cents mint, whereas the open four uh, goes for a dollar and a quarter. Well, going down the list, you have a on the fifteen cent team you have a six cent surcharge on it. The twenty cent team has an eight cent team surcharge. The 25 is a 10 centime surcharge. The 30 centime has a 12 centime surcharge. The 35, again, this has a 14 cent surcharge. And there's also a closed four on this one as well. Uh, the closed four on this one goes for 10.50, whereas the open four goes for $2.90 a mint. Um, those are the only two, the only two are closed fours is on the 10 centime and then on the uh, 35 centime stamps. The, 40, the next one is a 40 centime stamp with a 16 centime surcharge. Uh, the next is a 45 centime with an 18 centime surcharge. The 50 centime is the last one in the small size of post stamps with a 20 centime surcharge. Then we get to the larger ones, the 75 centime is a 30 centime surcharge. Uh, the one franc has a 40 centime surcharge. The two franc has an 80 centime surcharge. And the five franc is a, uh, they changed the name now. Now it's actually Piaster, a uh, Piaster. Uh, that's got a two Piaster uh, surcharge on it. And the 10 franc has a four Piaster surcharge. Uh, this set goes in mint. Uh, it is Scott numbers 65 through 82. It goes for $365.45 mint. Uh, Use is $278. And the last two in the set, the five franc and the ten franc, are the most expensive. Uh, they go for two fifty. Uh, 
in total. 100 for the 5 franc and 150 for the 10 franc. Hi everyone, this is Cal Clark again, uh, talking about our Indochina stamp collection with my wife Celeste. Uh, today we're going to go over the next set. Uh, this set was issued in 1922. It is a surcharge set that had, the surcharges were in either black or red color. Um, these stamps are basically the uh, Indochinese women series again. Um, the, the Anamite woman and or the Cambodian woman. Uh, this set was, uh, like I said, issued in 1922. It was never issued in the colony itself. It was only issued in Paris at that time. And um, as you can tell here, there is a slight difference. You see the ones that are surcharged here. Okay. You see the surcharges here. And then you see the ones that are not surcharged. These are kind of like an error. Are, they're very uncommon and they go from anywhere from $100 to $190 in mint condition. Um, this set is comprised of uh, eight, uh, six stamps. Uh, the surcharge ones are only $13.65 total, the whole set in mint condition. Uh, the errors are probably in where it's uh, uh, probably close to five to $700 a piece, uh, for a set. Um, but it is a nice set, as you can tell. Um, it's uh, very colorful and um, it's a nice uh, nice piece for your collection if you wish to uh, purchase that you can uh, again see if we have these on our store um, but it is a nice set issued in 1922 um, the Scott catalog number is uh, 88 through 93 and again the price for the surcharge copies is 1365 mint uh, in the 2009 Scott catalog. The next set in the uh, Indochina collection, uh, these stamps were issued in 1922 through 1923. This again is the Anamite and the Cambodian Woman series. Um, and the, the big difference in this set is that this uh, denomination is in cents and in piasters. Um, there is a total of 21 stamps in this series. Uh, they go for $43.60 in mint condition. Uh, you have different denominations. You have a one-tenth cent, that's black. You have a fifth of a cent, that's blue. A two-fifth of a cent, that's brown. Four-fifths, which is rose and black. And a one-cent, that's yellow-brown. Two-cent, that's gray-green. A three-cent, that's violet. A four-cent, that's orange and black. A five cent that's carmine and black. And you can see these have the millisem, the numeral two on these two. Uh, those were issued in booklets. Um, something a little bit different. The six cent is the first Cambodian lady stamp, and that's a, a dull red. And you have a seven cent that's green, an eight cent that's black, a nine cent that's ochre and black, a ten cent that's blue and black. Uh, an 11 cent that is violet. Again, that's a millisem. You can see the number two in there. Um, this is a booklet. The 12 cent is a brown. The 15 cent is orange and black. The 20 cent is black or blue and black. The 40 cent is vermilion and black. And then we get to the uh, one piaster. This one's a uh, bluish green. And then the two piaster, which is a violet brown. Um, you can see the difference in the two violet brown ones. There's one that's got a little bit more darker color. It's just a, a, a ink, the different kind of ink possibly that they use when they printed it. But it's a nice set. Um, it's again $43.60 in mint condition. Um, there is 21 stamps in this set. And uh, uh, I'm, if you're interested in buying purchasing this set, please check out our store on eBay. The next set in the uh, Indochina collection um, was issued in 1927. Uh, this is a series of uh, different portraits on these stamps. As you can tell, the, the first one is a, a plowing near the Tower of Confucius. Uh, and then we have the Bay of Along, Halong Bay right here, starting right here. Um, this set has um, 24 stamps in it total. Uh, you're going to see on the next page, you're going to see more in this series. Uh, the first, uh, the, the uh, plowing near the Tower of Confucius you have a one-tenth uh, light olive green stamp. You have a one-fifth uh, cent yellow stamp. Two-fifths light blue. Four-fifths deep brown. And then you have the one-cent orange. I also have a millisem set, uh, 
a, a, a example right here. Um, another one that's used down here. And then you have the two cent uh, blue green, the three cent indigo, the four cent lilac rose, the five cent deep violet. And then here's your Halong Bay stamps right here. Uh, these, uh, there's a, a six cent uh, deep red and a seven cent light brown. This set is the uh, eight cent gray green, the nine cent red violet, the 10 cent uh, light blue, and the 11 cent orange, and the 12 cent myrtle green. And then we go to the 15 cent, uh, and that is a picture of the Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Uh, there is uh, the 15 cent, and that is in dull rose and old uh, brown. The 20 cent that's violet and slate. And then we go to a new one, uh, a new, uh, it's, a car it's a gentleman carving wood. Um, there is a 25 cent orange brown lilac rose and a 30 cent uh, deep blue with a gray. And then we go to the next uh, example. That's a, the Tat Luang Temple in Laos. Um, that's, uh, that 40 cent stamp is in vermilion and light blue. And then we have an example in light green and slate. That's the 50 cent one. And then the last two um, is the founding of Saigon. That is a one piaster uh, stamp. And that one is in um, dark blue and black and yellow. And then the two piaster is red, uh, deep blue and orange. Uh, those, uh, this series uh, is runs from Scott Catalog uh, one 115 to 138. The price of this series is, uh, for the 24 stamps, is $102.35 in mint condition and $57.20 in used condition. Of course, the last two are the most expensive, the one piaster, the two piaster, uh, they go for $21 and $26. In the uh, Indochina collection, uh, was issued in 1931. This is a common design type of the Colonial Exposition issue. Uh, these were surcharged in new values. Um, you see the four cent on the 50 cent violet, that's a violent color. The six cent on the 90 cent, that's red or uh, orange, reddish orange. And the 10 cent on the uh, one and a half franc dull blue. Uh, this uh, set uh, comprises of three stamps. Um, it's Scott catalog number 140 through 142. And the price for these stamps is $9 for the set in mint and in used condition. Again, it was uh, printed in, it was issued in 1931. And uh, that's it, that's all we have. Hi everyone, this is Cal Clark again with my wife Celeste. And today we're going to go over the next set in the Indochina stamp collection. Uh, this next set was issued in 1931 through 1941. It comprises of four different pictures on these stamps. Uh, the first picture is a junk, which is a, a type of a sail ship that was used during the, in the colony to transport, to ship goods uh, throughout the colony. Um, this, uh, this picture is on, uh, starts out with a one ten cent Prussian blue, uh, a one fifth cent lake, a two fifth of a cent orange red, half cent red brown, fourth fifth of a cent dark violet, a one cent black brown, and a two cent dark green. The next picture shows the tower at ruins of Angkor Thom. Uh, this is uh, still today in Cambodia. Uh, this one starts out with a three cent uh, deep brown, a three cent dark green, a four cent dark blue, a four cent dark green, a four cent yellow orange, a four cent deep violet, four, five, I mean a five cent deep violet, a five cent deep green, and a six cent orange red, a seven cent black, an eight cent rose lake, and a nine cent black yellow. The next picture shows uh, um, someone planting rice in the colony, and uh, this one starts out with a 10 cent dark blue, a 10 cent ultra pink, a 15 cent dark brown, a 15 cent dark blue, an 18 cent blue, a 20 cent rose, a 21 cent olive green, a 20 
two cent dark green, a 25 cent deep violet, a 25 cent dark blue, and a 30 cent orange brown. And then the next uh, picture shows a picture of Asper, 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 uh, Celestial Dancer. Um, this, this one is a, uh, a 50 cent dark brown, a 60 cent uh, dull violet, and a 70 cent light blue. Okay, they, uh, to finish out this set, there is a uh, one pie or one piastre yellow green and a two piastre red. Uh, this set uh, is Scott catalog number 143 through 170. It is 34 stamps. Uh, it goes for $27.5 mint and $16.30 in used condition. Uh, so it is, it is a nice set. It's not that very expensive, uh, but it is a nice set to have for your collection. Uh, this last, you see I have a block of uh, nine here of the two piaster red stamps. Um, but yes, uh, it is, it's, it's fairly common. It's not that expensive to, uh, to purchase. And uh, we should have some of these on our store as well. Hi everyone. The next uh, collection of stamps from Indochina is, uh, we're issued in 1936. It has 11 stamps of King or Emperor Bao Dai uh, from Vietnam or Nam at the time. And then uh, King Sisawat uh, Minivong from Cambodia. Uh, the first series is 11 stamps of Emperor Bao Dai. Uh, these were used in a Nam uh, province in Vietnam at the time. There's a one cent brown, a two cent green, a four cent violet, a five cent red brown, a 10 cent lilac rose, 15 cent ultra, 20 cent scarlet, a 30 cent plum, a 50 cent slate green, and a one piaster rose violet, and a two pie or two piaster black. Um, this set, these 11 stamps here, uh, go uh, for $26.15 in mint condition and also in used condition. Uh, the next ones you'll see here is uh, uh, the King Lonivong uh, from Cambodia. Um, this also has 11 stamps in the series, and it's, it's basically the same colors, uh, one cent brown as the uh, Emperor Bao Dai stamps, two cent green, four cent violet, five, five cent red brown, 10 cent lilac rose, 15 cent ultra, 20 cent scarlet, 30 cent plum. You the the uh, King Monivong uh, stamp collection is uh, 50 cent uh, slate green, one pie rose violet or one piaster, two piaster black. Uh, this comprises of 11 stamps mint. Uh, There's Scott catalog 182 to 192. Uh, the price is 26 dollars and five cents in mint and in used uh, condition. All right, the next series in the uh, Indochina stamp collection uh, was uh, issued in 1937 uh, from the Paris International Exposition issue. Uh, this was a common design, common design type uh, from France. Uh, the, the two cent, there's a two cent deep violet, a uh, three cent dark green, a four cent carmen rose, a six cent uh, dark brown, a nine cent red and a 15 cent ultra. Uh, th these uh, six stamps are $6 and 70 cents in mint and in used condition and they are Scott catalog number 193 through 198. Also in this uh, set, there is a souvenir sheet, the Colonial Arts Exhibit exhibition issue. This was issued in 1937 as well. Um, it's the only souvenir sheet in the Indochina stamp collection. Um, it is, uh, as you can see, I have one in the mint condition and one in the used condition. Actually, the used one is worth more than the mint one. That one's like $12, the used one, the mint one is $9. Um, I guess they didn't uh, cancel many of them. That's why the uh, used one is worth much more than the mint one. Uh, this is a nice set to have for your collection. And if you can happen to find one that's used, um, they're hard to find, but uh, the mint one's just as good too. It's very, it's a very interesting set, and it's the only souvenir sheet in the Indochina postage stamp collection. That is the uh, uh, Governor General Paul Dumay set. Uh, this was issued in 1938. There are three stamps in this set. There's a five cent rose carmen, 
a six cent brown and an 18 cent bright blue. Um, this set uh, is numbers, uh, it's got numbers 200 to 202 and it goes for 365. Uh, this also includes an airmail stamp that we'll look at later on. Uh, 365 mint or 220 used. Also in this uh, series, the next series is it was issued 1939. This is from the New York World's Fair issue. It's a common design type. Um, there's a 13 cent Carmen Lake and a 23 cent Ultra. Uh, this set here goes for $1.80 mint. Uh, same for the used price as well. It is got numbers 203 through 204. The next series uh, was issued in 1939. It is a set of four uh, with a picture of the Moko Pagoda in Hanoi. Uh, we have a six cent uh, black brown, a nine cent vermilion, a 23 cent ultra, and a 39 cent rose violet. The next series, uh, and that set uh, goes for 425 mint and news and a Scott catalog numbers 205 through 208. The next set is a picture of Angkor Wat and Marshall Paytain. Um, and there's two uh, pictures in this, uh, two stamps in this set, uh, a 10 cent dark carmine and a 25 cent blue. Uh, they both go for 75 cents uh, mint. And uh, that is uh, what we're gonna wrap up with today. Hi everyone, this is Cal Clark again with my wife Celeste. And today we're going to continue on uh, through the Indochina stamps. Uh, the next set that we have here is issued in 1941. It's a, a three set, three stamp set with King Sihanouk from Cambodia. There is a red, one cent red orange, a six cent violet, and a 25 cent deep ultra. Uh, this set uh, in mint and used condition is $24.15. Uh, it's got numbers 210, 211, and 212. The next set after that was issued in 1942. It is uh, uh, two pitch, two stamps in this set. Um, it's a harnessed elephant on a parade. Um, you have a three cent uh, reddish brown and a six cent crimson. Um, these, uh, both these stamps, uh, about $2.85 in mint and used condition uh, for this set. And it was Scott numbers 213 and 214. Also, there is a a 10 cent uh, surcharge stamp uh, on a 25 cent uh, deep violet. Uh, this again is, a, is the rice, uh, the person planting rice. Uh, it is uh, 50 cents mint and 30 cent used. It is uh, Scott number 214A. The next picture shows a view of the Saigon Fair. This stamp was issued in 1942. It's a six cent Carmen Rose, um, a Scott number 215. And it uh, sells for $0.75 cents mint, $0.65 cent used. This fair took place in 1942. And then we have a, uh, another, the next set is, is one stamp. It's a $0.06 cent Carmen of Nam Fung. The, she was the Empress of Anam. She was the uh, wife of uh, Emperor uh, Bao Dai. Uh, her, her Scott number is 216. It's a $0.06 cent Carmen Rose. Uh, goes for $1.10 mint and 65 cents used. Um, the next set uh, was issued from 1942 to 1944. Uh, it is a Marshall Payton, Payton. Um, it is a one, the, it has four stamps. No, it has six stamps in it. Um, you have a one cent black brown, three cent olive brown, six cent rose red, 10 cent dull green, a 40 cent dark blue, and a 40 cent slate blue. Uh, this set is uh, goes for 335 mint, 360 used, and it is Scott numbers 217 through 222. Six stamps in this set. After that, the next set is uh, pictures of uh, two stamps of Bao Dai, who's the emperor of Anam. And uh, there's a, a one a half a cent brown and a six cent Carmen Rose. Uh, those stamps go for $1.80. Total for mint and uh, 265 used. Scott catalog numbers 223 and 224. And the next set is two sets, two stamps again of uh, King Sihanouk from Cambodia. Uh, it's a one cent brown and a six cent red. And they go for $1.75 mint and $1.15 used. Those stamps are uh, numbers, Scott catalog numbers 225 and 226. 
Uh, the next set shows uh, the, the person planting rice as well. And as you notice, there's no RF or Republic of France on this stamp. Uh, this just shows the denomination. Um, these were never issued in the province or in the colony. They were issued uh, during the Vichy government in France uh, during World War II. These were issued in 1943. You have a 30 cent orange brown, a 50 cent dark brown, a one piaster yellow green, and a two piaster red. Um, this set of four goes for $7 mint. It is numbers 226 A, B, C, and D. The next series in the Indochina collection uh, was issued in 1943. It is a, uh, a collection, a stamp, two stamps of the King, King Bong of Laos. Uh, we have a one cent Bister Brown and a six cent Carmen Rose. It's got numbers 227 and 228. They go for $1.50 mint and $1.65 used. Uh, after that, we have the next uh, one stamp, 1943. It's got number 229. It's a six cent Carmen Rose. It's a picture of the family, country, and labor. This is a national revolution, uh, the third anniversary. Uh, next set is, uh, is, is uh, a set of three uh, French uh, men that uh, worked in the, in the, in the colony. Uh, we have Admiral Genouli, uh, Francois Labat, and Admiral Corbet. And uh, they are located on, they are on um, catalog numbers 230, uh, six cent Carmen Rose, 231, six cent Carmen Rose. A 232 six cent Carmen Rose, and there's also uh, one that was never issued, which is a three cent light brown of uh, Corbet um, that goes for ten dollars. The other, the other two, other three stamps go for two forty mint and two dollars used. Uh, the next uh, series came out in 1943. Uh, this is a picture of Bishop of Adran Behan. Uh, um, it's a twenty cent dull red. Goes for it's got number two thirty three. It goes for an hour fifty mint to news, and next series was issued in nineteen forty three to nineteen forty five. That is a uh, picture of Alexander Zerson. Um, uh, he has a six cent Carmen Rose, a fifteen cent Violet Brown, and a one piaster yellow green. Uh, this set is uh, again it's got number two thirty four through two thirty six. It goes for two eighty. Uh, mint and used. The next uh, stamp we have is a uh, was issued in 1943. It's got number 237. It's a picture of Lieutenant uh, Garnier. Um, it is a uh, one cent doll olive bister. It goes for 90 cent mint and a dollar and a quarter used. And the next series we have was issued in 1943 to 1945. Uh, this is uh, Alexander Rhodes. Um, he's famous in France for developing the alphabet that is currently being used today in Vietnam. Uh, this is uh, Scott numbers 238 through 239. You have a 15 cent dark violet brown and a 30 cent uh, orange brown. And they go for uh, $1.20 mint and used. And then the next set is a picture of... Uh, is issued 1944. It says showing an athlete giving the Olympic salute. Um, you have two two stamps in this series. There are Scots 241 and 242. It's a 10 cent dark violet brown and yellow, and a 50 cent dull red. Uh, they go for 475 a mint, and the same for used. And then the last uh, in this series uh, that I'll talk now is from 1943 to 1945. And this is a picture of Admiral Grandier. And uh, it's a one cent dull brown and a five cent dark brown. Uh, this series goes for uh, 55 cents mint and a dollar 40 used. Um, it's got numbers 243 and 244. Okay, the next series was issued in 1944. Uh, it's a picture of Auguste Pavi. Uh, stamp number, Scott the catalog numbers 245 and 246 is the four cent orange yellow and a 10 cent dull green. Uh, they go for 80 cents mint and 95 cents used. Also, you see a 20 cent dark red type as well. This was not issued. Uh, it's also, uh, this one's without overprint. It's, it's $10 in mint condition. It's kind of a, 
not an error, but it's one that was never issued. The next set we see was issued in 1944 as well. It is Governor General Pierre Pasquier. Uh, it's got numbers 247 and 248. We have a five cent brown violet and a 10 cent dull green. Uh, they go for 95 cents used and a dollar 65 or 95 cents mint, a dollar 65 used. The next series was issued in 1944 of Jus van Vollenhoven. Um, uh, it was uh, Scott numbers 249 and 250. You have a one cent olive brown and a 10 cent green. Uh, they go for 95 cent mint and a dollar 10 used. Uh, the next series came out in 1944. It's Governor General Lenasson. Um, you have a Scott numbers 251 and 252. You have a one cent dull gray brown and a 15 cent dull rose violet. Uh, they go for a dollar, two dollars and forty cents mint, and a dollar ninety used. And the next stamp set is Governor General Paul Dumier. Um, this is a three set series uh, issued in 1944. It's got numbers 253, 254, and 255. You have a three, a two cent red violet, a four cent light brown, and a ten cent yellow green. Uh, they are ninety cents mint and use for the three stamps. Uh, the next series came out in 1944 as well was Admiral Charnier. Uh, it's, uh, it's got numbers 256, 257, 258. You have a 10 cent green, a 20 cent brown red, and a one piaster pale yellow green. Uh, this series uh, is $1.95 mint and $3.50 used. The next uh, set is a picture of uh, Le Gris, Le Gris. Uh, it's three stamps, uh, 259, 260, and 261 of the Scott numbers. You have a one cent dull gray brown, a 15 cent dull rose violet, and a 40 cent bright blue. Uh, this series goes for a dollar 40 mint and a dollar 80 used. Uh, the, the last set was issued in 1946. Uh, this is Scott numbers 262 and 263. It's a picture of the Angar Watt with Marshall Patan with a, a black overprint on it. Uh, you have a 10 cent dark carmine and a 25 cent blue, and they uh, go for $3.40, both mint and use in the Scott catalog. Hi everyone, this is Cal Clark. I'm here with my wife Celeste, and today we're gonna talk about uh, Indochina semi-postal stamps. Uh, as you can see, semi-postal stamps are kind of unique because what you do is you pay the postage and you pay a small sum for a charity as well. So, for example, and the first one that was issued in 1914 um, with the Annamite woman on it, you'll see there's a red cross there at the top and you see a five cent uh, surcharge. So the stamp costs uh, 15 cents total, 10 cents for the postage that you could use for and the five cents went to the charity for the Red Cross. Um, this is the very first semi-postal stamp uh, for the Indochina colony at the time. Uh, it is uh, Scott number B1. It is a uh, red and black uh, stamp with a 10 cents, 10 cents with a five cent surcharge, and it's uh, $1.40 mint and used. The next set we have is the same thing you see, but the surcharge is just a little bit different than the first one. Um, it's just a, it just shows more of a, a deeper red cross with the five cent there at the top for the surcharge. These were issued in 1915 through 1917, and there was three stamps in this set total. You have a uh, five cent with a five cent green and black, a uh, ten cent with a five cent red and black, and a fifteen cent with a five cent violet and black. Uh, these were uh, Scott numbers B2 through B4. Uh, they go for, these three stamps are for mint are $5.75 used and four, I mean mint, $4.60 used. Uh, the next series you'll see were surcharged with new values in blue or black. Um, the the same, same thing, uh, the four cent on five cent plus five cent in blue, okay. Uh, that, you have one there that has a open four and then you have one there with a closed four. The closed four is very rare. You don't see that stamp very often. A stamp, the closed four is a $210 stamp mint. Also, you see 
On the B4 at the top, you'll see a triple surcharge or a quadruple surcharge. That's another error stamp on that one. Uh, it's a violet and black. That one goes for $180 mint. Um, so going back on to the, uh, going back down to the next ones, um, you have the B6, which is a six cent on a 10 cent plus five cents. And you have B7, which is an eight cent on 15 cent plus five cents. Uh, those three, uh, just the regular ones are 20.25 mint and $20 and 50 cents used. Uh, that's the, uh, the first uh, three series of the semi-postal stamps in uh, Indochina at that time. The next set uh, of the semi-postal stamps in the Indochina collection was issued in 1918. There are six stamps in this set. This is the most expensive semi-postal set in the collection. Um, you have a 10 cent on 15 cent, a 16 cent on 25 cent, a 24 cent on 35 cents, a 40 on a 50 cent, a 80 on a one franc, and a four piaster on a five franc. Uh, the most expensive is, of course, the four piaster on five franc. That's a $210 stamp in mint and used condition. All six stamps as a whole are $259.60 mint and used. They are B8 through B13 in the Scott catalog. The next series is a one stamp of the Curry issue, um, Marie Curry on there. It's a it's got number B14. It was issued in 1938. It is a common design type for the French stamps. It's a, it's a 18 cent plus 5 cent uh, bright ultra. Uh, this stamp goes for $10.50, both in mint and used condition. It is a French Revolution issue. It's a common design type. Um, it is has five stamps in it. Uh, it's, uh, you have a six cent plus two cent green, a uh, seven cent plus three cent brown, a nine cent plus four cent red orange, a 13 cent plus 10 cent rose pink, a 23 cent plus 20 cent blue, these are Scott numbers B15 through B19. Uh, each one of these is $1.50 mint and used for a total of $57.50 for the five stamps mint and used uh, condition. The next series uh, was issued in 1941. Uh, it is a common design type as well. It has a Tonkinese sharpshooter and a legionary as well. Um, the 10 cent plus 10 cent red. Uh, and then you have a 15 cent plus 30 cent maroon a 25 cent plus 10 cent blue. Uh, each one goes for $1.10 in mint condition. They are B19, B19, A, B, and C uh, for a total of $3.30 mint. Uh, this so is, uh, Cal Clark again with my wife Celeste. And today we're going to finish out the semi-postal Indochina stamps. Uh, the first one you see here is a picture of the uh, portal flags and the city university in Hanoi. Um, the, this uh, uh, set of stamps of two, um, the B20, which is a Carmen Rose, six cent plus two cent um, semi-postal, and the B21 is a brown violet, uh, 15 cent plus five cent. Uh, these two stamps uh, in mint and used condition go for 250 each, um, 250 for the pair, and uh, that's the, the first set that we're gonna cover. The next set, the next set was issued in 1942. This next set is a picture of Ankar Watt and Marshall Paytan. Uh, this set here um, is a over overprint of that set before. It was issued in 1944. Um, it's a B21A, that's the five cent plus 15 cent on a 25 cent blue. And B21B is a 25 cent on a 10 cent dark Carmen. Uh, the next set is that uh, same as that flag set that we looked at before, the Portland flags. It's a surcharge. It's one stamp. Uh, it it's, uh, was issued in 1944. It's B22. It's a 10 cent plus 2 cents on a 6 cent plus 2 cent stamp. It goes for $1.25, both mint and used condition. Uh, the next set is a set of two. It's a coat of arms and a sword. Um, this one is uh, uh, B23, is a six cent plus two cent red and blue, and B24 is a 15 cent plus five cent violet, black, red, and blue. Uh, these both go for 
$1.60 a pair, both in mint and in used condition. The next one is a surcharge of that same stamp that we just looked at in B22. Um, it is a surcharge in black. Um, it's uh, B25. It's a 10 cent plus 2 cent on 6 cent plus 2 cent. Uh, it's 80 cents uh, mint and used condition. The next set we go to is issued in 1943. <clears throat> this set was, this is a uh, aviator, a Vietnamese aviator, uh, Hoovi. Um, it's uh, B26. It's a six cent plus two cent Carmen Rose. It goes for 65 cents mint and a dollar sixty used. Uh, the next one is a surcharge of the same stamp of Aviator Hoovy. It's in uh, black uh, surcharge. It's uh, a ten. It's B27. It's a ten cent plus two cent on six cent plus two cent, and this stamp goes for 80 cents mint and used. Uh, the next stamp is uh, Aviator Garo. A French aviator uh, issued in 1943. This stamp uh, is a Scott number B28. It's a six cent plus two cent Carmen, Rose Carmen, and it goes for 80 cents in mint and use condition. Uh, the next set, the next stamp is a surcharge of Aviator Garo uh, issued in 1944. It's B29. It's a 10 cent plus two cent on a six cent plus two cent. Uh, and this goes for 80 cents, both mint and used condition. Uh, rounding out the semi-postals here, we have the Cathedral of Orleans, Orleans, um, B30. Um, it's got number B30, it's a 15 cent plus 60 cent brown violet. And B31 is a 40 cent plus 1.1 piaster blue. Uh, and those, uh, the B30 goes for 160 mint and used, and the B31 goes for 160 mint and 275 used. And the last uh, set of the semi-postals that were issued is uh, is a uh, B32, and uh, this is a 50 cent plus 50 cent on a two franc green, and the B33, which is a one piaster plus one piaster on a two franc. Uh, brown and B34 which is a two piaster plus two piaster and a two franc Prussian blue. Uh, this set of three goes for uh, 230 both mint and used. Uh, those are the uh, semi-postal stamps that were issued in uh, Indochina during that time. Next uh, series of Indochina stamps that we're going to look at is the air mail or air post stamps. Uh, this set was issued in 19. 33 to 1941. Uh, all the sample or examples you see in my collection are all blocks of four uh, in mint condition. The first one you see here, C1, is a uh, one cent olive brown, and you see the two cent dark green. That is a C2 stamp. The next uh, stamp in this set is C3, and it's a five cent yellow green. The next one is C4, that's a 10 cent red brown. Uh, C5 is an 11 cent rose carmen. C6 is a 15 cent deep blue. And uh, C6A is a 16 cent bright pink. C7 is a 20 cent greenish gray. C8 is a 30 cent orange brown. And C9 is a 36 cent Carmen Rose. The next stamp of the set is uh, C10. Uh, that's a 37 cent olive green. Uh, C10A is a 39 cent dark olive green. As you can tell, these two look very similar by color um, and very hard to identify the two of them. Uh, however, one is the denomination is different than the other one. One's 37 cents and the other one's 39 cents. So that's one key way of key indicator of telling which one is what. C11 is a 60 cent dark violet. C12 is a 66 cent olive green. C13 is a 67 cent bright blue. C13A is a 69 cent bright ultra. C14 is a one piaster black. Uh, C15 is a two piaster yellow orange. Uh, the next stamp is a C16, that's a five piaster purple. And the last uh, stamp in this set is C17, and that's a 10 piaster deep red. 
Uh, this set is 20 stamps, uh, C1 through C17. It goes for $18.85 mint and $7.95 used. The next stamp is the Trans-Indo-Chinese Railway type with a picture of Governor General Dumer, Dumay. Uh, this is issued in 1938. It's C18. It's a 37 cent red orange stamp. I have a block of six here in my collection. This is a stamp goes for 75 cents mint and 25 cents. A year mail stamp so it was issued uh, from 1942 to 1944. Uh, this set of airmail stamps was never issued in the colony. It was only issued uh, by the Vichy government in France during World War II. Uh, the first sample you see here is uh, C18A. It's a yellow green five cent um, as you can tell, the RF that you see in the other airmail stamps is not on these stamps located in the bottom left corner. Also, the denomination is also in the bottom left corner in bigger letters. And I have two examples here, two blocks of four. One that has the yellow green uh, numbers for the denomination. And the other one is a different color, probably a printing difference, uh, which is more of a uh, goldish color uh, brown that you see there. In this sample stamp in this collection is uh, Scott number C18B. Uh, that is a 10 cent red brown. The next is uh, C18C. That's an 11 cent uh, rose carmen. Uh, C18D is a 15 cent deep blue. C18E is a 20 cent greenish gray. Uh, C18F is a 36 cent carmen rose. And C18G is a 37 cent olive green. Our next stamp in this set is a C18H, is a 60 cent dark violet. A C18I, which is a 66 cent brown olive. 16 C18J, a 67 cent bright blue. A C18K is a 69 cent bright ultramarine. C18L is a one piaster black. C18M is a two piaster yellow orange. C18N is the next stamp in this set. It's a five piaster purple. And then the last one in this set is a C18O, which is a 10 piaster deep red. Uh, this set is 15 stamps in total. It goes for $13.65 in mint condition. Next series in the airmail set is was issued in 1946. This is the Victory issue. It is a common design type issued by France for the uh, French colonies. Uh, this number here is C19. It's a 80 cent red orange. It goes for a dollar in mint and 55 cent in used condition. As you see, these are both mint examples, but the one on the right has. Uh, some nice uh, uh, inscription there on the side that was printed. Uh, you probably only see one of those on a sheet uh, on the whole sheet. Hi everyone, this is uh, Cal Clark uh, today and I'm with my wife Celeste and we're going to go over the next series of airmail stamps that were issued in Indochina. This next set is what they call the Chad to Rhine issue. It's a common design type that the French uh, issued in the various colonies uh, during in 1946 uh, what I have here is it's a it's a set of six stamps I have the imperf version and I also have the perforated version of course the imperf version is uh, kind of unique you don't see it too often it is a rarity of some glut um, but it's nice to have uh, something different for your collection uh, this one uh, starts out with C20 it's a 50 cent uh, yellow green the next one is a C21, which is a one piaster violet. Uh, C22 is a 1.5 piaster carmen. Uh, C23 is a two piaster violet brown. Uh, C24 is a two and a half piaster deep blue. And C25 is a five piaster orange red. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, uh, sets in the airmail stamps for Indochina because of the, the printing and just the, the portraits on there are, are very beautiful. They're more about, uh, you know, during the war effort in, in Europe at that time. And uh, I just enjoy this set. This set is a set of six. 
it goes for six dollars and forty cents uh, mint and used that'd be the perforated versions of course the imperf versions uh, i'm not quite sure but i'm sure they're at least uh, five or six times more than the perforated versions it would be up towards like thirty dollars or more per set the next issue is it was issued in 1949 it's a common design type it's the uh, Union Postal, uh, Universal Postal Union Anniversary. Uh, this is uh, Scott number C26. It's a three piaster, deep blue, dark violet, green, and red. Um, it was issued also throughout the colonies of, during with France. Um, this is a uh, mint. It's four dollars and seventy five cents, and four dollars in used condition. Okay, the last set in the air mails that were issued in Indochina are of the same plain type of the first set that came out in 1933 and 1941. Uh, these two uh, stamps in this set came out in 1949. Um, they are C27, which is a 20 piaster dark blue green, and C28, which is a 30 piaster brown. Uh, in my set, I have a block of four of the perforated version and as you can see, something unique, I have a block of four of the imperf version. Um, these imperf versions, they go for a pair of them for 170 US dollars in mint condition. Um, that's why I thought it was kind of unique when I saw it. This is a block of four, not just one pair. Uh, the perforated versions uh, go for a pair. Uh, they are $24.50 mint and uh, $13 in used condition. Um, this rounds out our uh, air mails for Indochina. Next, we're going to be looking at air postage, postage semi-postal stamps, air mail post semi-postal stamps. Hi, everyone. This is Cal Clark today uh, with my wife, Celeste. We're going to talk about the next series of Indochina stamps that were issued. Uh, these are air post or air mail semi-postal stamps. Uh, there wasn't many of these issued in the colony. Uh, as you can see, the first one you see here is the 1939 uh, version of the French Revolution issue, which is a common design type. This is number CB1. It's a 39 cent plus 40 cent brown black stamp. Uh, this stamp uh, goes for $25 in mint and used condition and $45 in uh, unhinged mint condition or never hinged condition. The next series you see is the uh, Poor Family series. You see the Poor Families in this one, uh, pictures of orphans and pictures of caring for children. Um, this is a uh, also a uh, common, uh, this is also a um, common design type as well. Uh, it was issued in 1942, uh, CB2, uh, which is a 15 cent plus 35 cent green. Uh, CB3, which is 20 cent plus 60 cent brown, and CB4, which is a 30 cent plus 90 cent carmen red. Uh, this series in uh, mint condition goes for three dollars and five cents. Um, this th these stamps were used for Native Children's Welfare Fund. And the last one is the Colonial Education Fund. This is a common design type as well. This was CB5, issued in 1942. It's a 12 cent plus 18 cent uh, blue red stamp, uh, and it costs a dollar ten in mint condition. That is the end of our air post semi postal stamps. Uh, next, we're going to start talking about postage due. The next set we're going to look at today is the postage due stamps that were issued in Indochina. Uh, the first one there was issued in 1904. It's J1. It's in perf. It's an imperfect version. Uh, it is a five cent on 60 cent brown buff. Uh, this stamp was issued in, or was mint, mint is $14.50 and used is $14.50 as well. Uh, the next ones that were issued were 1905 and J2, uh, which is a five cent on 40 cent black. Uh, these were surcharged in Carmen color. Uh, J3, which is a 10 cent on 60 cent black and J4, which is a 30 cent on 60 cent black. Uh, these three stamps in mint condition go for $96 and used condition is $56. The next set in the postage due stamps uh, were issued in 1908. Uh, this set 
has a picture of a dragon from the steps of the Angkor Wat, which is located in uh, Cambodia as of today. Uh, this set starts out, uh, it's got number J5. Uh, these, these sets, these stamps were all perforated. It's a two cent black. Uh, J6 is a four cent deep blue. J7 is a five cent uh, bluish green. J8 is a 10 cent carmine. J9 is a 15 cent violet. J7, J10 is a 20 cent chocolate. J11 is a 30 cent olive green. J12 is a 40 cent claret. J13 is a 50 cent greenish blue. J14 is a 60 cent orange. J15 is a one franc gray. J16 is a two franc yellow brown. And J17 is a five franc red. This set in mint condition, there's 13 stamps in this set, goes for $130.85 mint and $104.10 in used condition. That is the same as the last set, the Dragon from Angkor Wat. It has a surcharge on it in cents or piastres. Uh, this set um, starts out at, it, came, it was issued in 1919. It's uh, J18 is the first one. The surcharges are either in carmine color or in black. The first one is a four-fifth of a cent on a two-cent black. Uh, J19 is a one and three-fifth cent on a four-cent deep blue. J20 is a two-cent on a five-cent blue-green. J21 is a four-cent on a ten-cent carmine. J22 is a six-cent on a fifteen-cent violet. Uh, J23 is an eight cent on a 20 cent chocolate. J24 is a 12 cent on a 30 cent olive green. J25 is a 16 cent on a 40 cent claret. Uh, J26 is a 20 cent on a 50 cent greenish blue. Uh, J27 is a 24 cent on a 60 cent orange. Also in my collection here, you'll see there's a difference on the four, the surcharge four. Um, this one, ha I have a closed version of the four and an open version of the four. Uh, the closed version goes for a little bit more money. Uh, it is uh, mint $20 and uh, $16 used. And also on J28, which is the 40 cent on the one franc gray, uh, also, I have the open and closed versions of the four there, and they, the closed versions go for $20 mint, $16 used. And rounding it out, J29 is an 80 cent on a two franc yellow brown, and J30, which is a two piaster on a five franc red. Um, the set is 13 stamps total. It goes for $172.25 mint and $87.75 used. The next set in the post due stamps issued in Indochina uh, is another, is the same picture of the Angkor Wat, the dragons uh, from the stuff of the Angkor Wat. Uh, this one has cents uh, in below the numerals, the word cent, uh, issued in 1922. Uh, this one starts out uh, J31, which is a two-fifth of a cent black, J32, which is a four-fifth of a cent red. J33, which is a one-cent buff. J34, a two-cent gray-green. J35, a three-cent violet. J36, a four-cent orange. J37, a six-cent olive green. J38, an eight-cent black lavender. J39, a 10 cent deep blue. J40, a 12 cent ochre greenish. J41, a 20 cent deep blue straw. J42, a 40 cent red bluish. J43, a one piaster brown violet pinkish. This set is comprised of 13 stamps total. They go for $20.40 a set in mint condition and $11.55 uh, in used condition for the set. Hi everyone, this is Cal Clark and my wife Celeste. Today we're going to talk about the next set of postage due stamps that was issued in Indochina. This set was issued in 1927. 
Uh, the first pictures uh, of these stamps is a pagoda of Mount Ko in Hanoi. Um, the first stamp is a J44. It's a two-fifths of a cent, violet, brown, and orange. Uh, the next one is J45, which is a four-fifth cent, violet, and black. J46, which is a one cent, brown, and red. J47 is a two cent, green, and brown. J48 is a three cent, red, brown, and black. J49 is a four cent indigo and brown. J50 is a six cent deep red and vermilion. J51 is an eight cent olive brown and violet. Uh, the next one is a picture of the dragon of Anam. That's on J52. That starts out, that's a 10 cent deep blue. J53 is a 12 cent olive. J54 is a 20 cent rose. J55 is a 40 cent blue green. And J56 is a one piaster red orange. This set catalogs in the Scott catalog in mint condition for the 13 stamps at $45.45 and used condition is $39.95. The next set uh, was issued in 19, from 1931 to 1941. Uh, it is uh, surcharged in black or blue. Um, they're all the same color, just different denomination, um, pretty much. The J57 is a one-fifth cent red. Uh, they're all the same color. Uh, J58 is a two-fifth cent. J59 is a four-fifth of a cent. J60 is a one cent. J61 is a two cent. J62 is a two and a half cent. J63 is a three cent. J64 is a four cent. J65 is a five cent. J66 is a six cent. J67 is a 10 cent. J68 is a 12 cent. J69 is a 14 cent. J70 is a 18 cent. J71 is a 20 cent. J72 is a 50 cent. J72A is a one piaster red. Uh, that one's in black uh, uh, color print. Uh, J73 is a one piaster red, and that has a blue uh, colored print for surcharge. Uh, this set of 18 postage due stamps uh, goes for $18.20 in mint condition in the Scott catalog and use condition it goes for $15.80. The last set of postage due stamps was issued in 1943 to 1944. Uh, this set uh, has nine stamps in it. Uh, the first ones are in red color with a yellow background. Uh, they are a J74 one cent, a J75 two cent, J76, three cent, a J77, four cent, and a J78, six cent, and a J79, 10 cent. The last three in this set are blue with a white background, and they are J80, which is a 12 cent, J81, which is a 20 cent, and J82, which is a 30 cent. Now, this set of nine goes for $3.40 in the Scott catalog in mint and in used condition. The next set of Indochina stamps we're going to cover today are the official stamps. Uh, these were issued in 1933. Um, there are overprints in blue or red, uh, some of the regular issues in the past. Uh, the first two is the junk or sailboat issue. Uh, the first one, 01, is a one cent black brown in blue color overprint. And 02 is a two cent dark green with a blue colored overprint. Uh, the next series in this set is a set of four, which is the ruins of Angkor Tome. The, uh, the first one is 03, which is a three cent deep brown with a blue overprint. 04, which is a four cent dark blue with a red overprint. And 05 is a five cent deep violet with a blue overprint. And 06 is a six cent orange red with a blue overprint. The next uh, set in this series is pictures of 
planting rice. Again, this is 07, it's a 10 cent dark blue, it's a red overprint. 08 is a 15 cent dark brown with a blue overprint. Uh, 09 is a 20 cent rose with a blue overprint. Uh, 010 is a 21 cent olive green with a blue overprint. 011 is a 25 cent deep violet with a blue overprint. And 012 is a 30 cent orange brown with a blue overprint. And the last four in this series is a picture of the Absaras uh, Celestial Dancer. Um, first one is 013. That's a 50 cent dark brown with a blue overprint. 014 is a 60 cent dull violet with a blue overprint. And 015 is a one piaster yellow green with a blue overprint. And 016 is a two piaster red with a blue overprint. Uh, this set of 16 official stamps uh, is cataloged uh, for $81.35 in mint condition or $38.05 in used condition. The next set of official stamps uh, was issued in 1934, and this is a set that was uh, with the Cambodian lady on it from earlier postage stamps. Uh, they were either in a black or red a surcharge of the word service on them. 017 is a one cent olive green in black surcharge. The 018 is a two, seven, two cent brown orange in a black surcharge. The 019 is a three cent yellow green in a black surcharge. 020 is a four cent cerise color in a black surcharge. 021 is a yellow, five cent yellow in a black surcharge. 022 is a six cent orange red in a black surcharge. And 023 is a 10 cent gray green and that's in a red colored surcharge. 024 is a 15 cent ultra that's in a black surcharge. 025 is a 20 cent gray black in a red surcharge. 026 is a 20 cent, 21 cent uh, light violet in a black surcharge. 027 is a 25 cent Rose Lake in a black surcharge. 028 is a 30 cent Lilac Gray in a black surcharge. 029 is a 50 cent uh, Bright Violet in a black surcharge. 030 is a 60 cent Gray in a black surcharge. 031 is a one pi or one piaster blue and a red surcharge. And 032 is a two piaster deep red and a black surcharge. Uh, this set of 16 uh, stamps catalogs in the Scott catalog for $147.65 in mint condition and $116 in used condition. This rounds out the official stamps that were used in the Indochina colony. The last set of stamps in the Indochina collection are the parcel post stamps. Uh, this first one was issued in 1891. It's Q1. Um, it's a 10 cent black and lavender uh, stamp uh, with the uh, overprint of Indochina Coli Posto, which is parcel post in French. And uh, this stamp goes for $24 in mint condition and $10.50 in used condition in the Scott catalog. The next one is Q2, which is a 10 cent black lavender. Uh, this uh, stamp uh, goes for $29 in mint condition, both, and, both mint and used. And um, it, uh, the next one is a Q3, which is a 10 cent Black Lavender as well, issued in 1902. Um, this one, as you see, uh, it goes for $55 mint, $35 used, but I also have an inverted copy of this uh, stamp, which goes for 115 mint and $50 used. And the last one in this series is a Q4, also issued in 1902. Uh, this is a 10 cent red uh, you see I have some variations here as well. I have one that's with the uh, surcharge sideways. I have one that is uh, inverted as well as a double overprint. Uh, the the uh, this 
the regular stamp itself goes for $55 mint and $24 used. And the inverted overprints or double overprints go for $85 mint and $50 used. That is the end of our series on the Indochina stamps. I hope everybody enjoyed this series. Uh, please, uh, I thank you for watching our videos. Uh, please don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button below uh, to encourage us to do more videos. We'll be working on some of the uh, series in Vietnam, uh, South Vietnam next, and Anam Tonkin stamps and Kokachin stamps uh, from the past. And uh, again, thanks everybody today for watching our videos and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.